We'll meet a pet detective that keeps uh, hotel rooms around the state free from pests. And capturing the... You're watching Alaska's News Source, KTUU, Channel 2 Anchorage. And now, Alaska's number one news team, Maria Downey, Mike Ross, Kevin Wells with sports, and Jackie Purcell with the weather. This is the Channel 2 News Hour. Local pest control companies are responding to a high volume of calls about bed bugs. They say it's becoming a bigger problem statewide. But one business has a special employee who can help sniff out the problem. Channel 2's Abby Hancock has the story. 17-year-old Sierra Brookshire spends a lot of time with Rudolph. Yeah, you're ready, aren't you? Okay, come, come. A rescued beagle. Brookshire is Rudolph's handler and trains her twice a day. She's looking around trying to find something to sniff. It's immediately clear this scent-driven dog is not just a pet, she's a pest detective. She's trained to find bed bugs. Uh, that's about what she can do. She only knows five basic commands. Eagle Pest Control uses Rudolph to sniff out bed bugs to exterminate. Owner Randy Buter says her success rate is 90%. That is a hide with a couple of bed bugs in it. So we put Rudolph to the test at this hotel that let us use a room. Randy places two hides. They're small vials with live bed bugs. They can't get out, but a mesh lid allows Rudolph to pick up their scent. When she arrives, she's itching to get to work. Find your piece. Within seconds, she finds both hides. Good girl. And a nice reward. It's how quickly Rudolph can search a room that makes her so valuable. Yes, she was very successful. Two for two. Buter says she can work 40 to 60 rooms per day and makes the rounds at several hotels on a quarterly basis. She's worked out well. She gives a lot of people relief. She's able to, she's found bed bugs when other, other people haven't been able to. But he says bed bugs are becoming an epidemic. From hotels to homes and now workplaces, he sometimes gets up to four calls a day. There's going to be little black stains. Ten years ago, one case in a year was the norm. We're starting to see areas that hadn't traditionally had bed bugs. It's usually been confined to the larger cities, but he is now starting to get out into the other towns. It's a growing battle against a pest that Buter calls the ultimate hitchhiker. And with the help of Rudolph, it's his job to make sure the bed bugs don't bite. Abby Hancock, Channel 2 News. I have to tell you that Maria is totally creeped out I by the know, story. I know, I just she's, feel them crawling she's now. She's been just, squirming during the oh. report. Anyway, Rudolph was trained in a special academy in Florida where search and rescue dogs and police dogs are also trained. Now she costs more than $10,000, wow. but her owner says she is worth the investment. I would think so. Yep. Well, coming up tonight on the... And now, from Alaska's news source, this is the Channel 2 News Late Edition. And she doesn't have a red nose, but Rudolph has a, uh, does have some pretty powerful senses. We'll explain <laughs> just ahead. Pest control businesses are dealing with what they call an epidemic, a growing number of bed bug cases around the state. But one company has an employee who has proven to be quite successful in sniffing out the problem. That is a hide with a couple of bed bugs in it. Now, today we put Rudolph, the bed bug sniffing dog, to the test. Randy Buter, the owner of Eagle Pest Control, says Rudolph is successful about 90% of the time. He hid two containers with live bed bugs in them in a hotel room today, and within seconds, Rudolph was able to sniff them out. She does quarterly checks at several hotels here in Anchorage. Buter says he sometimes gets up to four calls a day about bed bugs and has traveled across the state to help exterminate them. Rudolph was trained at a special academy in Florida that also trains search and rescue dogs and police dogs.